Alright guys, thank, for, thank you for being patient and all that. Sorry that was a little bit of a longer break. Uh, we should have enough time to do about two and a half hours of this though. Uh, maybe a little bit less. I don't know. Either way, we'll see what we can get through. So, um, if anyone wants to get a run by on where we are, <clears throat> we're about 26 hours, 40 minutes in. Uh, we just escaped the beast's den, I believe. Also, you guys can tell me at this point what to do, where to go. Uh, we're trying to finish up every mandatory thing. I'm leaving all the optional stuff for later. Uh, and then I'm going to basically make a map of all the optional stuff and then come back to it to hype up the second game when it releases. So I don't want to do anything optional. That is part of the focus, is to avoid every optional thing. Um, just to clear everything up. But apparently it didn't save. Unless this is... Oh, no, it did. Okay, cool. This is a... Uh... I thought that was the other bench. Never mind. We're good. We're good. So from here, uh, we got to continue up, I believe. See what's going on over here. Still the first playthrough leper? Yeah, I'm kind of doing it broken up, so it's been uh, once or twice a week sometimes. Very short streams of it. A few a few bigger ones, but very infrequent ones. Next time, uh, when we play the new one, we'll be playing it all together. Or pretty much almost every day, until we beat it. So, we probably could have beaten it in a week if I did that, but... Didn't want to go too hard on it. Okay, so if we're in Distant Village, then... <laughs> You're expecting me doing a hundred glitchless 100% by now? Really? Uh, the only thing that you will tell me is you need to see what happens when you return the grubs. Enough of them? Okay. Well, keep in mind, even if we didn't do that, um, as long as I can beat the mandatory stuff, and there is the ability to go back, we will be going back and doing everything else. But I'm saving that as like a part two, or a bonus playthrough. So, um... Yeah, it's not a big deal if I miss any of that stuff. Like, the fact that I've missed a lot of bosses already and I left them, that's good. Because uh, then we can go back to them and we can we can do them once we've beaten all the other stuff. Um, so, <clears throat> you have to beat three dreamers. One is the beast you just did. So, I already did another dreamer. Where's the third one? Out of every place we can go in the map. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, just the required stuff. Yeah, we're trying to just do the required stuff, mainly because I'm saving... Everything else is another playthrough. Uh, basically to hype up the second game. Like usually when you stream, the best thing to do is to play games that are uh, the predecessor right before the sequel comes out. Uh, so that's the best content. That's probably the most interesting part of this game. And I want to save the DLC and all that to hype up the second game. So it's like the most effective. And that's when I would have probably the, the most fun doing it too. So, um, And then we can move on to the other stuff that I've already planned uh, like a while ago. And get it done soon before Demon Souls and all that, hopefully. Check the map. All right, let's see. So someone was saying I could go back to here, <clears throat> the Forgotten Crossroads. I'm not sure if that is to this place, um, like the the temple thing. But we, we can we can head up there though. City of Tears uh, and another. At Fog Canyon. So I think I've done the City of Tears one. Um, Fog Canyon, I don't know if I've done yet. I, I've been there, <clears throat> but I don't think I have the map. Uh, expect me to do glitchless 100%. Uh, you have Monarch Wings? I do have the Monarch Wings, yeah. The mask on the map is where you have to go. Oh, into here? Okay. Really? So Queen's Station area. Okay. I didn't know it actually showed you that. I thought that was just something that you uh, had already made it to, so it showed up. Because I have been through... that. That's the thing that's been confusing about this playthrough. I've made it through a lot of areas before we actually completed them fully, so... I wasn't sure what we had to go back to them for overall. You need one of the two movement upgrades. One is found in Royal Waterways. The other one requires beating Hornet in the Kingdom's Edge and then going down to Ancient Basin. Bef before I do this part. Okay, so Royal Waterways is below City of Tears. Uh, I guess we can just go there from here if we want to.
<laughs> Rip. Dude, after playing all that uh, dark area, I'm gonna be like legendary on the on the visible stuff. That's the that's the dream. <laughs> Although I don't think you can actually no, you can't get out that way. Let's just go back and take the the tram there. Hornet's probably the fastest. Okay, and that's that's uh, our, the waterways. Or that's Kingdom's Edge. Wait, what is this? Oh yeah, this guy. I've already talked to this guy before. When are you gonna do a no hit run in DS with PP only? What is PP? Is that a joke? Hornet's Kingdom's Edge, okay. Well, there's Fog Canyon, apparently. Um, need to go this way. Wait, was it past here? Why is it saying that the tram is that way? Oh, wait, it has two signs. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention there. Uh, okay, so let's go to... Kingdom's Edge. Which is closest to uh, City of Tears. But we can't actually go right to there. Uh, Basin. So storerooms, probably, or resting grounds. Resting grounds is pretty high up, though. That's... Have I played Hades, Aruni? I haven't, no. I wasn't planning on playing Hades. I, I'm not really sold on it too much. I've watched quite a bit at this point. And I mean, I think I'm only watching it because the people that are playing it, not really for the game. So that's kind of how I can tell. Usually I have to like really enjoy the, the experience of watching the game first, then I get intrigued, then I want to check it out. But I don't think I'd watch it if no one I knew was playing it. Uh, if you're doing Hornet route, you will need to go up double jump spot. You were trying to sequence break in the earlier stream, which is in Kingdom's Edge, right? Okay, so the fastest way to get over there is probably right here. For reading the map right. Second Hornet is tough. I'm excited. See, the thing is, I live for the grind on the bosses on this. Like, I want to literally be stuck for four hours or more. Like, that's that's my dream, dude. That would make me really happy. I, I, I don't like the first tries as much. They're cool, but like it's, I, you know, like the uh, Tyrant and then the um, Watcher Knights, that was, those were really, really good boss fights overall. Those were really fun. Um, aside from the fact the second phase on the one dude was a little weird, but that's, I mean, I was just being salty, so whatever. Okay, just gonna go this way. Or can you even do that? You'd have to go down and all the way around to. Okay, this is gonna take a little bit, but we'll we'll do it. In for a treat on the DLCs. That's why I'm. That's why I'm excited, man. When we come back to it, <laughs> uh, and that's why I also know that right now we're not going to have the time to fit it in. I'll probably be on there for another couple weeks at least, and that's going to dip into the time we need to do the other stuff before Demon Souls comes out. So, if it wasn't the case, if I didn't have anything planned, then it wouldn't be a problem. But in this scenario, uh, I should have played more of it more frequently, or just started the game after all that stuff. But either way, it's been really fun, though. And I think the second one's gonna be dope. Uh, Rob, I'm doing pretty good. How are you, man? The DLCs are the best content. Uh, unfortunately, it's optional stuff that's the hardest, so you won't get that fun until you pick this up again. Alright, well, that's fair, then. I guess we'll be in for a beat then. Okay. Oh, come on, the roof. <laughs> oh, I couldn't jump there. about Elden Ring. Uh, I know just as much as you guys do. Actually, I probably know less than you guys do because I don't actually read gaming news. 
So I hear stuff from you before I'd actually see an article, usually. Unless a company reaches out to me about a game that's early access and they offer me it. Uh, from Soft, usually they don't offer anybody their games, so... I mean, Namco, sometimes they have a VIP list they've used for, like, probably the last, I'd say, five to eight years now or something like that. It's, it's not changed, really, so I have never been on that list. There's a lot of people that probably are very applicable to be on it if there was a criteria for how much content you make with that and your, your channel size, but they've usually kept the same VIP list for Namco, so I probably won't be offered that game, but um, you might see people like Peeve and Ouroboro and like Lobos and stuff like that get it. Because they were OGs. Uh, let's see, so we gotta go all the way down. Uh, Kalen, what's up? How's it going? Get news from YouTube. See, I don't even really check up the gaming news on there either, unless you guys send me links. Most of the gaming stuff is just uh, on here, which is just people playing games over your out, right? What's going on, uh, Asterix? How are you doing, man? It's quite the claim you're making. Is that the name for uh, Peeves Community now? <laughs> Figuring out some stuff before we move. How have you been? I've been doing pretty good. Thanks for asking. I hope your move goes well. Oh, I can't. Oh, no. I was trying to get over. I probably could go over on this hallway. Let's see. Yes. It is widely accepted. It's not a bad name. It's pretty funny. I just wasn't thinking of Peeve at first, so I was like, wait a second. Is that a typo or an actual clever pun there? Oh, shit. What is the effect from? I have the Spore uh, emblem, which means that every time I heal, the enemies get poisoned. If they go into the area. It looks really cool. I actually really like the animation for that. I still sometimes am, am surprised by it too, because I'm like, it actually works on bosses. It works on everything that I've seen so far. And I think it's actually helped me quite a bit, but I don't know what the, the numbers are on it. If there even is anywhere you can see that. Do I think Demon Souls will eventually come to P PC? Uh, I hope so. I don't know, man. I'm in the same position as you with that. So, I mean, I really would hope to see it on there, but if we even did, it wouldn't be right now, it'd be in the future. Because uh, every single kind of deal that companies have for uh, delayed access or whatever, it's usually about a year at minimum, so... Unless they, like, maybe have a contract later on that they drop, but if there is one an agreement right now, it'd probably be like a year later. They probably just wouldn't say anything about that to the public. Just yet. But don't let that get you excited, though, because, I mean, that's just if, if there was one, right? I mean, Sony definitely can dominate a lot more if they don't allow it to go to third party, but there might be a lot of, uh, there might be a nice, like, old deal in it for them if, uh, you know, the other platforms or, like, Microsoft and Steam want to buy into it or whatever. Just depends on if it's worth it to them. I guess that would be Valve and Microsoft, not Steam, but Valve. Because uh, Sony owns the IP, so FromSoft has no uh, say in it individually. Full duration is two hits from the nail. Oh, for the poison. Okay, that's pretty cool, actually. Man, that area is really cool. I like that. This this whole place. It'd be funny if Microsoft just bought FromSoft like they did with Bethesda. I don't think FromSoft would sell themselves to Microsoft. That's a that's a very bad decision in my opinion. FromSoft is one of the strongest contenders to be like a very big developer in the future. They already have grown so much uh, that they should do nothing other than keep doing what they're doing and don't 
like don't do any kind of collaboration with anybody else or you know um do anything weird because um their credibility is so high compared to a lot of developers now and um microsoft might ruin a lot of that if they have control over creative stuff depends on how much involvement they would have and they don't need the funding as far as I know. they have some very uh good diversity with publishers now and funding so i don't think they actually need it um, but the way I see it is like they need to just keep doing what they're doing and they're gonna they're gonna do really well. They're on a really good streak right now, a ten year streak. <laughs> so um, So actually for Kingdom's Edge we have to go up. Damn it. So it's supposed to go up right before here. Uh Chirapos, thank you for the bits, man. I appreciate that. SL one S sorry, SL one Hollow Knight, Pyromancy, zero damage. <laughs> Oh, that would be silly. Be very silly. If there even was pyromancy in this. I was right. Under the wall in the water. Do you actually have to go under? We can't go up through here. Because there's a King Kingdom's Edge exit right here. This is just another way to do it. Actually, I could just go around this part. This is the second part, I think, to get up here, yeah. And then Kingdom's Edge exit is up there. It's not connected, really? Hmm. It's a really fun area. You go with that exit. That's to another the kingdom kingdom's edge exit doesn't go to kingdom's edge is what you're saying or it's another like d divided part did i ever play or like isaac i played isaac quite a bit to try to get into it um i'm not a big fan of rogue games it's not the actual game itself it's the genre and the structure of it so if isaac was a predetermined game uh, and then there was a mod to randomize it i would probably like it a lot more because i like the story i like the aesthetic and the mechanics and everything um, but yeah, I did. I did try. I tried to give it as many hours as I could. I probably played it for like 20 hours or so. Um, same with Gungeon. Played it on stream a couple times, uh, and then I kind of just realized I can't really do the rogue genre as much. So that's that's the only thing. It kind of sucks. Cause I really do like that kind of stuff, but um, that kind of what that's kind of what held me back on it. Yeah, Hades is definitely like huge for that, and that's another reason why Hades probably wasn't appealing to me. But I think it's also just Let's maybe the style too. So the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. So like, I like the art when it comes down to like the NPCs Congrats talking, the but not so much in the gameplay. Uh, Batista, thank you very much for the four months, man. Welcome back. Thanks for the congrats as well. How are you doing? You ready for some uh some Hollow Knight? Some sketchy Hollow Knight. It's a whole other area too, right? I don't know if we can actually get anywhere from there. You have such a hard landing when you fall that far, but no damage though. Soul of the lost withdrawn from its vessel. So I think we we're going up here before, and then there's the aspids, right? The primal ass bits. That's where we found the farming spot. And there's the double jump on the way to there we've never gone to. Uh, blue, blue, Calis blue, blue Calicious. Thank you very much for the prime sub. Welcome. I hope you enjoy your meal. Welcome. Um, also, uh, your little, you made your little bro play all of DS1. You're such a proud big brother right now. That's awesome, dude. <laughs> Oh man, I, I don't know if I would be able, if I, I feel like I've had siblings and I asked them to play that, they probably would, I don't know, they, they, I could imagine them not actually liking it or just like turning it down or something. Because like, with my friends, a lot of them played it and some of them got pretty far, but then they just stopped, so. That's the funny thing too, they didn't actually get like destroyed to the point where they couldn't progress in the beginning. They actually, like my one buddy actually almost beat Bloodborne, he was on the last 20 minutes, of, like if you were doing a regular run, you could beat it in like 20 minutes from there for a regular person maybe an hour or two away from beating it and he just stopped playing it. 
Got it from for his birthday. Uh, Tavor, thank you for the uh, seven months. Welcome back. I think we're going to probably get screwed on this water, right? I wonder, though. No, I can't I can't launch underneath there, can I? I'll have to go up. Oh, no, wait, yeah, I got to go down, sorry, because um, if I went up, I'd have to fall down still. Can you go either way, though? Maybe there, is, maybe there is no up right there. It just looks like there is. So I remember going down here before, too. I thought there would be another way. Yeah, there's the Aspids, I think. All right, no, these aren't the Aspids. What are they called? Let's go to the journal. The Hoppers, sorry, the, the Hoppers. Aspids are the flying dudes. How many hours do I have in this game? 26 hours, 40 minutes when we started today. We're probably going to have about 28 by the time we finish today for in-game time. But I think I'm fairly close to finishing the main stuff, which is pretty damn good. Um, and we did some very, very silly things, too, that were not necessary, so... I guess we'll just see how hard the rest of the boss fights are. Okay. This is bad. I'm definitely going to have enough for the torch for the next area, though. Or the lantern, sorry. Whoa. Yeah, those triple shot things are literally the worst enemy so far. One half to 1800, apparently. Uh, Niju, thank you very much for the host. How was your stream today? You really like the art? The art style in this is incredible. That's one of my favorite parts. The the music, the art style, uh, the mechanics are perfect. Like, there's nothing I would change in general about them. They're very, very tight. Like, definitely way more put together than uh, even some of the older games in this genre, for sure. Uh, it's, like, extremely high polish and quality for the team size. So their second game is going to probably just be like a really decent game. Hope it gets some awards. Oh shit. Yeah, the controls are, are, are great. No need to change anything or rebind it. Did this get any awards? I bet you it probably did get some sort of award, but... In terms of like game of the year and stuff, I'm not sure if <clears throat> certain games can even get that based on uh, how big of a development they are, or if they don't get voted into like a pool of contenders for it or something. I don't know. I would hope it would have gotten some award though. I'm actually gonna die here. I, mean, I gotta go this way probably. I don't even think we needed to go that way. <laughs> I, I bet you we didn't. Still don't know what these are. That must be like super late game. Or, or optional. Aussies know what's up, apparently. Oh, damn it. Yeah. Need the shade cloak. That's what that is. Okay. Because I've heard, I've heard about that. Uh, I caught up on watching the eight Hollow Knight clips on YouTube, Alexander. Welcome back, dude. I'll be putting another one of those on here once, uh, probably once we've done this stream and another. So I try to, I'm going to try to get it to like 12 hours at least if I can. So maybe we can fit the rest of it on there. And again, next time I'll make it less disembodied. We'll definitely get it way more consistently, just back to back. 
and I'll do like way more full streams of it, just straight, you know, five, six hours. This is way better than Cuphead and way harder. Cuphead's a different style of game in the sense that you don't actually do platforming except for the running guns. So it's more of just like a boss rush kind of game, but uh, yeah, I do agree. This one definitely has more challenge than Cuphead uh, just because of the amount of content and probably a lot of stuff I've never even seen yet. That's just ridiculous, right? So, And in some of the stuff that we did, I would already say that's either challenging the hard, it's already on the level of the hardest stuff you do in Cuphead or even beyond that, so. Definitely, if you like that game, this, this is a good one. Although the Cuphead DLC, I'm sure, is gonna be ridiculous. Oh wait, I, didn't, I wanted to heal. It's like the millionth time I've done that. Yeah, it's right over here we need to go. NKG is harder than most Cuphead bosses. I wouldn't doubt it, man. Whatever that is. <laughs> and the, what what is there, 44 of them in this? Uh, National Academy of Video Game Trade reviewers gave it an award for design and, uh, and of a new IP. That's awesome, dude. Uh, Dio, what's up? It used to be Panther Claws, but you changed your name. I remember Panther Claws, yeah. Thank you for letting me know that you changed your name. Also, welcome back. Why are messages being deleted? Oh, maybe. Oh, wait, so Lethal. Uh, no, no, actually, so the thing is, Lethal, I actually said that I want spoilers now because I want to wrap up the game within the next few streams. Or I guess this would be like the third stream of it. Or It's kind of like a half stream, but yeah. No, I do, I do, I do want spoilers and backseeing. I put it in the info command, so you can, you can let anybody do that now. It's fine. Because I decided that if we're going to uh, play this before the second one comes out, I might as well save all the DLC and the optional stuff. So I have a good streak of difficult stuff to do right before then. And then I can get really excited for the, the next one. Uh, Seth, what's up, dude? Rip the map here. So you'd pursue the deeper truth. It isn't one the weak could bear. That's a, that's the shortest line I've seen before a battle in this game. Oh, here we go. Prove yourself ready to face it. I'll not hold back. My needle is lethal, and I'd feel no sadness in a weakling's demise. Show me you can accept this kingdom's past and claim responsibility for its future. You know what? Get bopped. Ooh. Yo-Yo, Orphan of Koss vibes intensify. Whoa. Oh, definitely Orphan, okay. This is getting weird. Okay, she doesn't actually complete that whole dash sometimes. It's like a mini jump that's diagonal. I don't know how high that can go though. Oh. Is there a bench even near there? I was gonna say, we actually didn't get anything even close to that. Yeah, the run back's gonna be ridiculous, so. There is a bench near there? Okay, I should've got it. Uh, I wish there was a thing that went right to Kingdom's Edge. Damn. Well, the thing is, if I was playing it myself, I would've done the same thing. I wouldn't have known about the... Or maybe I wouldn't have found the bench, we'll say. There's no guarantee I wouldn't have, but maybe I wouldn't have, so. Not a big deal. Now we know. Oh, wait, that was down. Okay. <laughs> um, 
Look, it looks like this game has a lot of bugs. It's very buggy. It's practically Bugs Life. So the world like might 18 be plus, maybe. Or something like that. What's more exciting? Almost had a five-year sub or being one baby away. Actually, Bug, Bugs Life was pretty brutal, to be honest. Skull Day, thanks for the 59 months. Welcome back, man. Okay, we really make got to make sure we make it there, though, for the Geo. If I'm going to get that uh, lantern for the other areas. Unless we want to get spicy again, which is fine. But I don't know how long the other ones are. <laughs> if that was the hardest one that I did before, I probably could do the other ones. But <laughs> kind of funny for spench in the ways king station damn it the thing is i thought we would find a new one but i shouldn't have assumed that i think you would do any mirror item randomizer in this game i don't think i'm gonna be playing through it enough times to actually know the map well enough to do a randomizer but in the new one though if there ever is such a thing i probably will play that one enough times to do that Launch across here. Oh yeah, the water. There we go. Oh no! <gasps> no, I was gonna heal right when I did that. That's not good, man. That's not good. Damn. All right, well, I'll have to get some more geo. Do you purposely have not health upgrades uh, or just not come across shards? I've only found so many shards. I think some of them, though, um, I thought were other things. Like, there is a chance I have missed a couple that I did see, or, or I, I thought I thought were something else, because um, they're floating in the air, and I thought they were like some sort of icon on the thing that gives you health back. I didn't think it was actually like an item that you could grab, because you don't typically grab items like that in this game. Uh, they're kind of like little uh, things that you have to inspect on the ground, so... That's like rarely, it's not even most of the game, so. I might have missed a couple shards, but we definitely uh, haven't found that many, though. Although I think five, five, five masks is pretty good. Unless everything starts double hitting me, then that would be a little bit scary, but five is actually pretty comfy. couple maybe it was more than a couple I don't know like I said there was probably a, po a point where I didn't even know what that was so I wouldn't like I don't know if I picked it up then sure then that's awesome but if I didn't I don't know if you can get them in different sequences or scenarios or whatever or if it's all the same kind of pickup method but I think we're on our way to completing another one so let me let me check yeah we need we need a few more for that one Either way, it honestly doesn't matter. Uh, I could do this with four. It's uh, anyone could. It's not really that big of a deal. With all shards, you'd have nine, nine masks. That's that's a li little bit insane, in my opinion. I don't think I think that's a little bit too OP for for this game. At least in my, pr I'd actually prefer to not have nine. That's that's a little bit too much. Maybe six, six, six to seven would be getting into the point where you could actually make a lot of mistakes and not have to like pay attention as much. But um, but yeah, like I already survived pretty well with just the five, other than that one scenario where I was like trying to heal there. <laughs> I think you just have to kind of like remember when you fight enemies and you backtrack what those enemies do instead of just kind of forgetting their their move sets. Someone hits for four masks. Oh, that's that's wild. Well, then I'll probably need more when I go to the the harder stuff. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna go down first over here.
Bench to the left at the double jump spot. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Over here, over here. Oh, shoot. It seems like, damn, platform. I cannot be the worst enemy in the game now. <laughs> Oh, come on. Ah, uh, set that I do the thing. Uh, which, which thing are we talking about? Also, um... Got a lot of new emotes. Uh... When was the last time you were here? I haven't updated them for a while. Oh, shoot. Are you sure you only need five? Yes. For now. I was just being an idiot there, that's my fault. I mean I'm still able to play bad. I'm not saying that I'm gonna play good every time. But no, it would be it would be actually a little bit silly to say that you couldn't play this with five. You could very comfortably play with five. Because I'm not even good at the game, and you could be actually good at it and then like do way better than I am right now, so imagine that. So just for like the average person, it's five or six. Pretty good. Until until you start getting things that hit you four for four health in a row, that's a little bit different. I've never seen anything like that so far. It's only been like some of them will hit two. And that's already not very common. Oh wait, we can sell these right here. I'm gonna wait, actually, so wait, let me look at the map here quick. So in Soul Sanctum, right below, on the way to the fountain, just right beside it, we can go back to this guy to sell the stuff for the the, the lantern if we need it in the future. Because he went he went for a trip to the fountain and came back at one point. Can buy it next days. Uh, you mean the lantern? Yeah, King Station, we gotta find the bench there on the way. You don't need to worry about enemies that hit for four. Is it just one boss? That's it. I was trying to do the spinny. Well, that was weird. Got the essence. Smith's brother or something like that? No. Oh, the, ma the map markers. Yeah, that was something that I uh, wasn't really understanding the importance of in the beginning as much. I thought that a lot of stuff would just kind of be clear with the compass anyways. And I also didn't really understand how big the map was, but that's a good point. Is there a bench up here? broken, isn't it? Yeah. It's probably, dude, honestly, I bet you it's like right where the fountain is. Or where that other icon was that wasn't a bench icon that looked like a bug or something. Above broken bench? Not in the locked thing, right? Here we go. Thank you. Then that's dead end. Okay. Did pretty much everything in this game, but uh, you haven't played it in two years. You'd be rusty on all the details. That's all right. I'm rusty even with the details. It's Fine. Uh, Guava, it's going pretty good. How are you, man? Yeah, 
bad. Okay, now, like, even if I do die, I'm a little bit closer. It's fine. Two blasts and they don't die from that. Wow. Insane. It's not higher up than this, is it? Going somewhere else. Soul of the lost, withdrawn from its vessel. Ooh. What are these things? Extra health. Where is it? There it is. Get him! Don't let him escape. Nice. Got all three of them. Ned Flizanders, thank you very much for the, the prime sub. I hope you enjoy your remotes. Welcome. Uh, next match is about the breakable ceiling just to the left, past the double jump spot. Oh, it's past the double jump spot. Okay, so it's not even this way. Never mind. But at least we got some extra health here. It's cool. For the fight, we got some handicaps for the fight. Heard the ice cream van, but it took you too long to get your wallet. Oh man, that's funny. Uh, oh yeah. It's... That's actually crazy. You can break that ceiling there. Wow. How many times has there even been a breakable ceiling in this? And that's a bench, apparently? It's like an anvil or something. <laughs> Dude, that guy in the hammock is definitely living life in this game better than we are. Like, that's a crazy spot there. He's even got, like, the best uh, part of the umbrella. Or the tarp or whatever. Sixty deaths incoming. Okay, we're gonna try to see if we can do it less than sixty. Oh, wait, sitting there took away my shields, though. Damn it. Sucks. Guess you want to make like a really big trip, you can always go there and get more health. Oh, 
That was funny. I like that one. <laughs> nice. Faster in the Pantheon, or is it just you? I wouldn't be surprised, man. I think I'll get it in under five tries. Five tries isn't isn't a hard. I thought this was a hard boss. Five tries is child's play, man. Well, I already understand everything going on there. It's just a matter of like my fingers understanding it now. But um, yeah, the mistake I was making is you can you can like double the triple pogo on the launch of the actual weapon. But if she does an attack that's stationary, then she'll immediately do a jump up or uh, an attack that you can parry sometimes, but the jump up one got me quite a bit. And then if she does, um, what's it called? Any other variation of standing still, and I try to poke it, she'll jump it back sometimes too, so I can only get one on a lot of those, unless she's sending a weapon. So. Yeah, it's so like right there, you get hit on that. But this one's good for at least two if you're really close. And then if she jumps again, I have to get out of that radius because of the bubble. Heal on that, though. Ooh, I wonder if I could actually... That'd be really cool. Sorry, I was trying to heal. I was thinking... It'd be cool if you could actually pogo and then air dash into another one on, on a prediction of where she actually ends up. Because like whatever amount of space is larger in the arena seems to be where she backs up, so that would be actually really cool if you could do that, too. You're going to hear Shaw a lot, apparently. <laughs> Rip bit rate. What's wrong with the bit rate? Because of the um, effects going on. Ooh, that was nice. There's actually there's a disadvantage of pogoing on that particular thing too. And she'll parry you. Shaw. <laughs> it's gonna distract me so much now. Okay, the healing opportunities on this are just her missing me out of a dive like this, or this attack right here. Then I gotta be very fast. That was I was too late on that. Okay, I'm thinking too much. Okay, so she can also do that on sta stationary on flat ground too without jumping. Alright. Uh, Grassini, what's up? How's it going? Have I played Sultan Sanctuary? I haven't, no. Definitely tough. Yeah, I was gonna say five tries seems like because people were saying this is a hard one, so I don't know. Five tries might be a little ambitious on on uh, your your guess there. I was almost believing you for a second. I was like, okay. <laughs> That was an amazing prediction there. Or even seemed like one, but it wasn't really. She, she can even parry the blast. That's amazing. Oh, there's a vertical... I just changed based on the track because she's above me. Uh, oh, and then there's a slide after that too that happens. It's a little skip. Didn't pay attention to Wasn't sure exactly what those were. I'm sure. I'm sure if you hit one of the parts that are spiky, you probably get damaged. I should have just dashed left on that, or try to uh, double jump out of the left and then dash. Uh, you see, thank you very much for the the two months. Welcome back, Skyline. What's up, man? 
trying to do Hornet right now. Hornet number two, apparently. How are you doing this? You might have to play this on your own. Solid. I would highly recommend it, man. It's a really good game. And if you're looking for something for the lowest amount of money to like get you the most playtime in a game that's not an MMO or like something that you have to like play online, it's definitely this. <laughs> I can't think of many, and like not purely from having to redo things, but even if you first tried everything, it would still be a lot of hours of gameplay, so. Very, very good value. Can you destroy these things? You can, okay. Cool. That's easy. Oh, that little skid at the end. Violin. Oh, the music, dude, the music on this game is amazing. I can't wait to download the soundtrack. I'm just waiting until I finish it. So I hear all of it first, or at least a lot of it. Am I going for 112%? I think I probably will end up doing something like that once we come back to this, because uh, I'm trying to fight all the mandatory bosses, and then I'm trying to uh, save the optional stuff for when they announce the date for the, the second game. And then I'm going to come back to this and play it uh, right before the second one comes out. Since a lot of people will be playing it then. And that'll be like the most spicy stuff as well. Aside from the DLC. That was really dumb. Very dumb, very greedy. The greedy double heal. And then she just goes, she gets boopsy right out of the stagger. That's amazing. That's a pretty good fight so far. That kind of reminds me of um, kind of the pace of the Mantis Lords when there's three of them at the same time. What if they shadow drop the second one? I don't think they will, but... Yeah, I guess in that case I'll be going back after that then. Oh, damn, that was a really poorly timed pogo there. I need some more health. Guess we'll get it back in the fight, whatever. Why wow, am I still only five health on purpose, or did I not find the mouse yet? Oh, it's not on purpose. <laughs>
the right idea. don't like contact damage, especially when enemy doesn't take damage from it. Uh, it's top. The damage, the, she does take damage from the top. She can parry your attacks, though, if you don't time them within a certain amount of time. So you have to be very quick. Uh, I think the contact hits are kind of like a platformer game exclusive thing. Like, it doesn't happen as much in other games, if you notice. Because you have to think in some platforming games you don't even have attacks, like Mario, for example. So, or, I mean, you can jump on enemies, but you can't really, like, unless you get like a mushroom for the fire, you don't really have a lot of uh, options to kill. Right? It's more about evading the contact. So I don't mind it that much, but this game also has really good hitboxes, though. So it's pretty fair. It's nothing silly. With, like it's a very like tight game overall. I think that's why the speedrunning is pretty popular. Oh man, I didn't know it was going to be an early dive there. Focus was not with me on that one. <laughs> I was thinking too much about particular details. Oh man. Uh, you guys will be able to beat Nightmare Grim. Uh, Granny, what's up? How's it going? How many hits to stagger? I gotta count next time. We're gonna count this one. I don't know. I should I should just start counting right on the first attempt, but like I try to pay attention more to other stuff going on so I can actually survive the next attempt. Three with a potential parry, so maybe maybe four. Five. Six. That's parry. Seven. Eight. Nine. But, but we'll say eight because the parry. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. I think it's about twelve.
tunnel vision. <laughs> that was a pretty good attempt, damn it. Looks like I gave my controller to my big brother this fight. Yeah, <laughs> I guess so. We all know I can't play games, so we have to pass over to the pe person I pay to play for me, right? Using the spore charm. Oh, you know what? We can switch wayward compass or um, charge, maybe. Char I could use I could use the charge on the staggers and then change the charge for the RTSR one or something else. But the thing is, you can heal on this quite often if you're actually like when she. If you could predict that, or you could use the sound cue on that. You could heal on the like the magic thing. And any weapon toss is is a free heal as well if you're instant on it. Pogos, man. They have to actually be Pogos. Oh, that was ridiculous. Nice. Respect on that one. Okay, I'm gonna have to get the first stagger and then double heal. To be really quick, though, when it happens. There we go. Yeah, you have time. Perfect. To heal? Damn, could have healed on that. Did double heal. Thought process was flawed. Oops. Watching a speedrun after you beat the game might be a fun idea. I'm definitely doing that. Cannot wait to. Want to have a Discord server? Solid, I do. To try this game, Matt. Definitely do it. Glitches speedrun is a tough one. Apparently, the category with glitches is not really like popular anymore, or they took it away or something. Monstaller or Fireborn? Oh, for raw people? I think I'm just gonna watch the current record for it. Um, if they give me permission to on their stream, on the stream at least. I'm sure. I'm sure it'll be fine. But yeah, if one of those people have current their current record for. Whatever category is popular. Should you get Hollow Knight? I heavily recommend it if you think it looks cool. It's definitely worth the money, man. It's a very good value. It's like one of the most valuable games I've gotten so far. Or at least in a while. Obviously, Souls is the most valuable. I've gotten the most hours out of that, but that was without a first playthrough. So, I mean, the, the first playthrough on this is pretty decent for how much it is worth. And 
I am, and I'm still missing a lot of content still, so. And I already feel like I've played three games <laughs> in the process. Because I pretty much have, like, a lot of the newer AAA games are only, like, 12 hours, 10 hours, and they are, uh, you know, five times the price. Spice level on that. I could have double healed there, but that, was, that would have been like really risky. Oh, and then, dude, that's amazing. I forgot. Because, okay, so if I jump for that and then she's jumping, I have to expect it's either going to be that or she can actually go overhead. Not so I wouldn't be able to jump after. Oh, man. Oh, the jump on that. It's brutal. I wonder if I can reach the one that's up there without jumping. How high up does this hit? I bet I could have with a yeah, it probably wouldn't have required a jump. That was a mistake. I made that mistake twice now. How can you access the server? Exclamation point Discord and chat, and there's instructions on how to access it. It's not a public one, it's a sub only Discord. Markov? Uh, is this game on Xbox? Uh, I think it's I want to say it is. I don't I actually don't know. Is it on Xbox? I'm, I have it on PC. I don't know. Uh, Baggins, what's up, man? How's it going? How have you been? Link's Awakening is 10 hours and Nintendo charged 60 bucks for the remake. <laughs> really? I thought Zelda games were really long. I've never beaten one, so I don't, I don't really know much about it. But I assume, like, just based on how long some of the speedruns are. Four hour speed on an ocarina, right? Or something like that. I guess it's a smaller one though. I'm missing, I'm actually getting hit more from missing pogos over <laughs> Dude, even when she staggered at her, oh god, that's that's crazy. Oh my god. Dude, the in, in that instant turn around, no, no chance there. Whew. I was trying to um, get a, I was trying to like drop aside and get get a heal when she staggered. Is this going on YouTube? Uh, the whole playthrough so far is on there right now. 
and then I'll, I'm just trying to get a, a bunch of parts together to make a, another um, episode of it. Because I'm trying to do them in about like 10 to 12 hour segments now. Because the first one I made a mistake of uploading, it was only two hours. I should have combined it with other stuff. Uh, I don't know why I did that. But uh, yeah, I think that after this stream and the next one, I'll have about 10 to 12 hours of, of, of stuff to put into the next part. And then we might actually be finished by then. We'll see. My pogo's gotta be a lot faster. I think I know the problem, though, it's fine. Gotta wait till she lands after the stagger. I'm doing the blast. Ooh, dude, an another one. And then a parry after that, of course. Of course. Let's use the blast to destroy those. Weapon, weapon, thank you. Heal. Free. Ah, uh, that was, I thought, I made a guess there, that's why. Didn't wait long enough. Double weapon throw ever. So far, at least. Damn it. I got that was short. Ah, uh, dude, the instant turnarounds. Throw your weapon, please. Thank God. Double. Oh, I tried to go for the double that was greedy. And then she, of course, instant turned around. And then jumped. Jumps out of the pogo. I, that was so sloppy, dude. I panicked there. I should've waited. Uh, Wug, what's up? How's it going? Can't imagine me on Path of Pain. Night Lancer. That's okay, man. I think everybody does. It's <laughs> definitely doesn't seem like the kind of game you, you play and then you just beat very casually. <laughs> I think it's meant to be pretty difficult. Or at least some of it. I mean, there's definitely stuff we first tried, but it's, I think a lot of that's supposed to be easy, right? Sacrificing some other openings that I can get into. Until right. she lands, perfect. Okay, a minute. Oh, I should have double jumped. That's fine though. So I know now that I can I can do I can do an actual guaranteed double heal on that because I know the distance won't cover the whole map if she's already in that default spot. And you can just go over that too, that's even better. Ugh.
Okay, she actually used a different dialogue for an attack that I thought had a preset dialogue there. That's actually interesting. She did the shot on the, uh, or whatever that is, on the magic. I've never seen that yet, unless I wasn't paying attention or something. There we go. Okay, that's not... I wouldn't say that was the hardest so far. I thought there was going to be a phase two. Unless there is. Maybe I'm wrong. So strong. You could do it if you had the will. But you could raise your nail once knowing its tragic conception and knowing yourself. Then do it, Ghost of Hallownest. Head onward. Burn that mark upon your shell and claim yourself as king. Again, there's going to be a third one. Or like, a, she's still alive, man. What? <laughs> That's okay, that's a cool that, that's a cool character. We can't kill the, the Hornet or we can't have a second game, right? So Thanks for the GG's guys. King's brand. Halonus shall recognize a new ruler, the kingdom's gates will open. Uh next go to Ancient Basin and go to the lowest point, okay. We escape. Oh shit, that actually hurts you. Yo, what? St sp plot device? Uh. Oh, the game's over now. Oh, look, look at this. Wow. Okay. <laughs> We're just like I'm dead. <laughs> I wonder if you can actually like lay there forever. <laughs> That's funny. About Hollow Knight because they thought it was going to be a casual platformer you could relax and breeze through. Oh, okay. Uh, reposting for the low. Dude, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's definitely not. No, you could not casually enjoy this game. It's not, It's definitely not relaxing, I wouldn't say. <laughs> I mean, there's parts of it that are extremely relaxing, but the whole. I wouldn't say the whole game's relaxing. Um, it's a little try hard. Not the not the hardest game I played, but definitely it's a, it's up there for like ma more mainstream games, like less underground, more popular ones. Ooh. All right. Um. Oh shit. Okay, so we have to go, you're saying, to Deep Nest? Was that the plan? Oh, Ancient Basin, sorry, my bad. Uh, no, we already did Deep Nest. That's not what we're trying to do. Ancient Basin. Oh, come on, man. If we can even make it out of here. Aspids. These aren't even the aspids. These are just the hoppers. Oh, you mean you mean like the fl the flying one, though, right? I was thinking the hopping ones were the aspids before. I thought you were confusing them too. My bad. Oh shit! Damn. Stalactites fallen. Did I get the three seals undone already? I don't think so. Final boss should be a primal aspect with 5,000 health, one kit hey, one hit KO. <laughs> that sounds pretty, uh, pretty sadistic, man. Not gonna agree on that one. Last Col Coliseum Travel Sadistic. I'm pretty sure I saw either Faraz or somebody else do it at one point a long time ago. And even he was saying it was pretty damn hard. Um, but he enjoyed it quite a bit, so I'm sure I'll probably enjoy it too. I can't really remember. I remember like there was a boss that had a lot of light beams coming out of it, and it was it was like a lot of stuff going on. A lot of things to look at, like a bullet hell kind of. That was a while ago though. That was like when it came out, probably. So we can go to the basin right from the tram over here. 
or the yeah like a, the the train thing okay oh, it's one of these Uh, Matt Walk, thank you very much for the brand new sub. I appreciate that, man. I hope you enjoy your notes, by the way. Oh, shit. That bug was uh, definitely buffed beyond regular specs there. Can't say that was regulation. Gonna have to call a timeout for that one. Will I ever do a no-hit run on this? Probably not on this one, but on the newer one, I don't know. We'll see. I definitely want to play, at least play this one, uh, play the DLC for it uh, once the second one's closer to coming out again. We'll come back to it, and then I will play all the second one pretty close together. We'll do it more consistently. Beat that, and then see what happens after that. Let's Maybe we'll, we'll do speedruns, I don't know. So if anything, I'm probably more likely to speedrun this than to do like a so challenge, because the, the mechanics are very good for that kind of stuff. And I think it'd be fun, too. Uh, Sir Manfred, thank you for the four months. Welcome back, man. Can't beat the third part of the Coliseum. Yeah, God, every time someone says that, it makes me want to play it even more, man. Like it's like, how bad could it be, man? <laughs> uh, all right. I'm gonna do 112 percent. I guess I probably end up doing everything uh, once we go through all the optional stuff after we've done the mandatory stuff. Because there's some things that I've gotten to that I've left behind on purpose just to return to, so I can do like a sweep of everything we missed. So I'm assuming we would go into here and then we'd go into like the lowest part of it. Back to where that door was or the, the big thing. But do we rest down here though? Could we? I guess we could. Oh, wait. I'm an idiot. Back right. Wait, let me get my health back. Let's do that first. Uh, Coliseum with five masks sounds spicy. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to get in there with five masks, but we'll, we'll probably have more before then. If you like Brutal Challenge, you love Pantheons. Well, I mean, like, the best part of this game, in my opinion, is, like, the, the more complicated uh, boss enemies, for sure. It's my favorite part. Other than like the soundtrack and the design, it's all really good, but. A corpse with white armor. Not anymore. Okay, maybe still. Never mind. <laughs> Not enough essence for that one. I need more of the dream essence for that. Oh, okay. So hard to not want to give hits. Oh, you can pumpkin. I'm asking you guys to give hints. That's going the wrong way again. Am I? Eighteen hundred essence. That's a lot. Need to upgrade Dream Nail to enter his the dream. Okay. That's that's pretty crazy, man. You have four thousand dream essence? Wow. The hole I jumped over. Oh yeah, this thing. Here we go. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Our pure vessel has ascended beyond lies, only the refuse and regret of its creation. We shall enter that place no longer. Until now. I 
to do a head nod. Okay, let's see if we can find a corner for over here. Falling randomly, whoa! <laughs> Where's the platform? <laughs> that was a little scary. He's usually on like the left or right side of the, the area, but we can find like the little paper trail as well. I'm really scared to descend more in here. I feel like I'm just gonna like fall down into a giant spike at the bottom. Uh, Cretan, what's up? How's it going? It counts as Agent Basin? Okay, I see. So then we wouldn't we wouldn't have access to find him in here, but above this area? No need for the map, just just need for momentum, aggression, and distraction, that's it. See, this abyss is a much nicer than the Souls Abyss, definitely. Like, there's actually stuff you can see. It's not just a void. Okay, that's scary. That's definitely abyssal. <laughs> Go left. I'm just trying to check out what's over here, too, anyways. I was like, freedom. Wait, what if I go, what if I wall jump off of here? Can I do that off the side of the platform? Okay, let me kill this thing. I wanna see something right now, just for fun. Uh, Snowy, I will see you later if, if you're, uh, are there spoilers soon? There might be. I wonder if I can do this. I don't think I can charge it in time. It won't let you off platforms like that. You have to go up so you can crystal heart the big lake? Okay. Just stand on the platform. That's true, I could. That st it still doesn't make any difference. Like still a bunch of stuff flying out of the water here. No need to go up there. I, I was just seeing if there was any items or anything, maybe. Oh man. That's was pretty funny. It's like, even if you go all the way over to the side, there's still crazy waving wa or wacky wavy inflatable tube men that are from the abyss. Imagine living in the abyss. You'd probably be one of the wavy arm things. have the blast spell yet? I don't think so. Need the upward spell for this. There's an upgrade for that. I can now smite people. Oh, the uh, the down B. Right and up. Didn't get the upward spell? No. Where do you get that? So 
I'm assuming we have to come back here once we have it to progress. We're at the lake in the green path. Get down and go right. Okay. What you're looking for is all the way right. I see. Thank God they can't go through platforms, that'd be really bad. Reminds me of like the Don't Starve Ghosts. Here, everyone's played Don't Starve before. Or Don't Starve Together. Platforms in the room on the right. Oh, I know that they're there, but you guys were saying go to the left. That's the thing. I'm listening to different people. I'm not saying I'm not blind. I knew there's platforms. There are people saying don't go there. <laughs> oh, okay. Now you can just cross the lake, anyways. Cool. Only listen to you, Bolt Struck. Hey, I'm trying to pick somebody that knows. <laughs> but then again, some people, some of you guys might have not played this for a while as well, right? Like, Alex yesterday was trying to help me with the dark cave thing, but then he realized that he hadn't played it for a while, so I still had to figure it out anyways. And, uh, that, that's fine, you know, it's, it's per perfectly fine. Um. Uh, a lighthouse? I probably have to go all the way up and then do this, right? Or is it still... Oh, it's still fine, nice. Did I go to the dark room without the lantern? I did complete it without the lantern, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. A lot of the time was spent going a different direction to a place I've already been. It wasn't progress. It was just kind of like opening the whole area. So I found everything that I believe you can find in there. And now I, I still remember the layout too in my head. So I mean, that's one way to remember something is just make sure you can't see anything and then, or except for a very small portion of it at a time. Oh, there's an item here. No. What if I wait? I wonder if I just sneak. Ah, damn it. <laughs> I don't know if I can get around there. Probably have to get some sort of ability. This is very Metroid-esque, this thing holding the, the chalice thing or the, the dish. Uh-oh. Is that bad? Oh, Shade Cloak. Didn't I speedrun this game? No, this is my f uh, first playthrough of it. I've only speedran Bloodborne, Sekiro, and DS3. That's it. And Sekiro is very, very minor. I'm still going to have to go back to that. What's the question? Oh, we were just wondering like where to go through for this part. Shade Cloak. Because pe people were given different answers. Okay, so Shade Cloak. Wait, what was it? R1? Damn it. I wasn't pressed the thing when I was reading chat. Um, press RT. RT. There we go. So it's, it's just like a regular dash. That's it. That's fine. Arcane egg. Oh, I can sell that for quite a bit, probably. In terms of the up ability, though, then I have to go back to the green way or green green path. Go to the black gates, gates and enter the center of Fog Canyon. 
So for the, the spell to go up through the area that we're in now, I would have to go to Fog Canyon or... or Wait, you get iframes with the, the shape cloak too? Really? Oh, the up dash is optional. Okay, then how do you how do you progress then? Like what's the next mandatory thing to do? Oh, Fog Canyon's the last streamer. I didn't need this. Okay. My bad. Any plans for new runs? I have a lot of plans, dude. It's all secret. You will not know until you see. And you will probably... I guess, I guess like, tomorrow's stream will probably be starting on the, some of the, the other stuff. I would like to get a better time in Sekiro any percent glitch list, though, as well, which is a, a speed run. I, I don't think I'll be doing that right away, though. We'll have to see if we can fit that in. Maybe I'll do that on the weekend or something once this is done. Queen Station, then go upward. Fog Canyon's the last stream. Okay. Yeah, this thing has a cool animation. The music in here is also like, it, the, or the ambient sound is very, very brutal. Or like, like, I don't even know how to say, but like the sound design in this is very good. Sometimes I can't even really put it into words, but it's, it's a very, very good sound design. Like very believable as if this was supposed to be a place or an environment. Um, it's like beyond what it even needs to be for this kind of game, for sure. And I'm not sure if they created all the sound design stuff themselves, they sampled certain things or whatever, but it's it's great. No. Damn it. Oh shit. Ah. Alright, there we go. What is this? Deep blue stone atop a dais, or da dais, whatever that is. You can do a quit here and go back. I was trying to not be that cheesy, because, like, I mean, I guess we can still get Geo anyways, but... I was going to say, it probably won't take too long to get out of here. Let's hope that we can actually finish up whatever is in the canyon before we're done, though, because I'm probably only going to be going for a little bit longer. And then we'll probably have to come back to this part after that, if this is a uh, main progression thing. Let's see. Nice. Uh... Oh, I didn't want the double jump then. Oh, hello. Ghost, I've seen your face. I see, I've seen you face the place of your birth. I see you have faced the place of your birth. Now drape yourself in the substance of its shadow. Through our strength is born of similar source, that part of you, that crucial emptiness I do not share. Funny then that such darkness gives me hope within it. I see the chance of change. A difficult journey you would face, but a choice it can create. Prolong our world stasis or face the heart of its infection. Let's do a dance. I'd urge you to take the harder path, but what may end up... Uh, sorry. But what end may come, the decision rests with you. All right, one more dance. We're an Irish tap dancer now, officially. Higher beings, the worlds are okay. That's already repeated dialogue for this one. Try to seduce. Yo, that's my sister, bro. Just kidding. It's actually not. Nah, she's uh, she's too tall for us. I'm sorry. Hollow Knight is, is shallow. Well, I mean, he's hollow, so I mean, ha, <laughs> get it. It kind of goes together. 
I bet it's I bet it's stilts though, or like knee extensions. No bug is that tall. Uh no, your ranking of the DS games in terms of favorites, but would you not would you slot Hollow Knight in there somewhere? I it would be very hard to put any game in the top six, like I said before. Um I mean this is definitely in the top ten games for sure. This is in my top ten. Um, especially in recent time, hundred percent in the top ten. But top top six though, that's that's hard. Like you'd literally have to make it, it'd probably be Elden Ring that would bump something out of the top six right now. Or and Demon Souls placement would just move up when they make the new one, probably. That's it's just really hard for me to um, have anything even still better than like this is this to me is like a solid eight out of ten. Um, or it depends on like if we're categorizing it more specifically. If we're saying within this genre, this is tied for um, my favorite game of this genre with Metroid Fusion, and then Zero Mission's a little bit behind that because I played Fusion a lot more so. This and Metroid Fusion are equal to me, and then, so in that case, it would get like a 9.5, but if it was across all games that exist, all genres, then it would probably be like an 8 to an 8.5 or so for me. Probably be like right around where Code Vein is, maybe a bit above Code Vein, that's, so. And then DS2 slightly above that by a little bit, and then, or Demon's Soul, sorry, slightly above that, ds is above that, and then, then it just goes into like the 9s and 9.5, so. Anyways, um, it doesn't even matter. It's still really good. It doesn't matter what the order is. It's it's up there for sure. It'd be really hard to make. It. Maybe I should make a tier list for that stuff, just to actually put it on paper and see, because it would be it would be really hard to compare certain things. Best souls too, you know it, chat. Uh, wait until you fight the real real bosses oh boy <laughs> okay so from here now we got to go um back up again did i rest on the bench in this gave hollow knight a 10 last 10 you ranked was portal 2 that's crazy yeah no like by a standalone across or like sorry like for this genre this is up there man like it's definitely <laughs> Probably the best or one of the best so far. But then it's it's really hard to compare it with games that are way bigger budget, way bigger team. Uh, AAA, you know. It's definitely not a AAA game, but it's huge. It, it comes so close to one for it being a small team. Uh, right. Do the Hive Knight next? I don't know what that would be or where that is, but Fog Canyon, I think, is somewhere over here, maybe? I don't even know. Is it? Where is this place again? Oh, this is the Royal Waterways. Damn, we can't go here yet, can we? Or we, we could, but we can't really justify doing it. Because we need to continue through... Uh, it was uh, Green Path? Yeah, I haven't done the Hive yet, because I didn't have the double jump, so I could go back to the Hive. But... You can go back through here. See, I don't know where I'm heading though, because I don't have the map. Because I don't know the area that much. In terms of your enjoyment of the game, does size of the dev team and budget really hold any weight? It does. It actually greatly um, lessens the amount of criticism I could give the game, because if I know, let's say, let's say one dude um, raises like ten thousand dollars for charity and then donates it to like and and, and we're not going to say like money for charity matters specifically but let's say one person raises ten thousand dollars for charity and then a thousand people raise ten thousand dollars for charity well, the one person raising ten thousand so dollars for charity is more impressive in my opinion so i think that holds way more value so than ten than a thousand people 
each raising a hundred or ten dollars. Uh, sorry, lost each and they right? just seem to or contributing me, that much or whatever. So no, it's, all okay, X. it's the same kind of thing. The workload is spread way, way more constant. It's like way more evenly with a bigger team, and then it's way more concentrated with a team of less people because they're playing the roles of other individuals that aren't actually even there. So. There might be a dude that's making art and making music and also doing coding, whereas in a regular studio, there's a person for each specific task, and then it's even broken down even finer than that sometimes. There's multiple people for each task. And if the game puts out a workload or a volume of um, the amount of hours that are in this um, for the price that they're selling it at with that many people, that makes it greatly more valuable, in my opinion. So that's how I'd look at it. Maybe the analogy wasn't amazing, but you know what I mean? It's like, it's definitely much more impressive because of that. Now we can look into funding in other circumstances, but just on a, on a surface level, the people that have the smaller teams are essentially playing more concentrated roles or more roles than one, right? Um, so it's not easy being an indie dev compared to just being a part of a big studio. It's a lot of work and the reward might not be as much either, you know. So I give a little more leniency for that. It's like Mortal Shell, I give so much more leniency to- like if FromSoft made Mortal Shell, that'd be a little bit iffy, right? Just for the size of the game, but for a new studio, 15 people? Impressive. I think prior experience also plays into it too, so I'm not sure how many games these people made before they made this, or if they were even in the studio before this. So if this is their first game, that also makes it a big deal too. Um, all right. Look for honeycombs. Oh, I know, I know where the hive is. I actually have it on the map. It's fine. Okay, we should get the bench here first before we even get it too ahead of ourselves. I'm gonna try Bloody Spell. I'm not sure what that is. Ah, uh, the bell. Oh yeah, it's the one above. It's like the very top, right? Or no, it was it was where the bench was. <laughs> Ugh. the geo we have to farm a little bit should i waste the 300 on that though is that worth it definitely worth it okay we'll we'll get it really quick though area or I could just sit on the bench guys like I'm still gonna hit you out of there Jesus that's scary my god man. okay we just wanted some geo dude that's it Could just went for that that enemy right there. I'm definitely. Have I used the bank yet? I think I have a little bit in there. Yeah, that's in Green Path area, isn't it, or something like that? Bloody spell is a roguelike Souls game. Is that the game that Peep was playing? That's kind of like pixel art style, or am I thinking of something else? Did I do the Coliseum? I haven't found the Coliseum yet. Use it more, you'll get a big payout. <sighs> I mean, <laughs> it's just the backtracking to get there, but I guess you're right, though. It's anime style. Okay, I see. 
Many stag stations have been opened again. Somewhere in Monster Line, Stag Nest is the place where I was born and raised. And I thought its location lost to my failing mind. Uh, but now I can almost remember the path. Keep opening stag stations and beckoning me up. But, 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 whatever. <laughs> we read that. Okay, let's see. We're trying to go to... Are we trying to go to Green Path or are we trying to go to Fog Canyon? Because Fog Canyon's... In, but it's like somewhere around Green Path already anyways, right? It's to the left of it or something. Or is it Queen? We have to go to Queen Station. Okay. Stag might be the best character. The way that thing runs is amazing. <laughs> Ah, uh, Twin Soul, how's it going? What's up? Up and then left, okay. Oh, there we are. Heck, I remember we came in here earlier. The jellyfish. And then the bank is right here, I'm pretty sure. Yep. <laughs> My bad. No, I actually re withdrew it. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> oh, well, at least at least there's proof that I remembered that. Like, <laughs> um. All right. Fog Canyon. Let's go. Oh, wait a second. Let's not go. I forgot these things have the explodies. Sniped. That was like in between the two platforms. Come on, there is there is no way that that actually. <laughs> there is no way that happened. This game's tracking is like it's it's unlike anything I've ever seen, man. The only thing I can it, that hit through the wall too. <sighs> okay, I'm not gonna hit the big ones anymore. <laughs> I think I, we had this problem when I came through the first time. Oh boy. Those little jellyfish have no idea what kind of crazy power they're gonna have in the future. Oh my god. Don't kill them. I'll leave the big ones. the younglings. Hey, you know what? <sighs> they would do the same thing, right? Oh, wait, did I? I went back to Green Path. We have to go right. Best music incoming, Jazz? Really? I'm excited. All cornifers over there. Maybe it's like through, okay, he's up. Yeah, I was gonna say maybe he's through the roof there. Enough for the map, I don't think. No, I don't. Chocolate. Damn. Mm -hmm. Feels bad, man. Rip Geo. Oh, oh no! We fell into the Mountain Dew. It's not the kind that you want to drink.
Oh shit. Okay, there we go. Nice. Oh! <laughs> Every time that happens, it doesn't get old. Every time that happens, it's just it's hilarious. If there was a boss that only did that, I wouldn't be able to complete it because I would just be crying from laughing. It'd just be too funny. Oh shit, man! I can't, I can't, I can't do it. The jellies don't carry the geo. They're smart. Forgot I can't double jump after falling. Dude, <laughs> maybe I should just kill these ones and then just somehow try to... It doesn't matter where you are in the map, that thing's in it's invincible. it blew because it hit the other one <laughs> oh man oh boy dude that's rough well you know what guys i don't even know if we're gonna have enough time to go through the rest of that area anyways so i might as well save it for the next time so we can go through the whole thing and actually complete the rest of uh i guess maybe the game because we're gonna do a full stream of it again and uh actually put in a solid amount of time. Today was a little bit of a shorter one. I was planning to start a slight bit earlier for Among Us, but one more stream and I'll finish the game. I'm going to do like a solid, just straight stream until we finish it or until we get really close, I think. Farm and get map today. Well, I'm still going to get the map by the time I get back there anyways, because we can just kill some of the, uh, the enemies in this area. We can go take the tram back to the other station. King Station. Hopefully, unless you have to like pay to bring it back there anyways, but yeah, I could get the 150 and then we could get it on the way um, But yeah tomorrow we'll be co coming back with a surprise uh, I'm not gonna tell you what it is uh, It is something you'll probably like I'm sure I'm sure you will uh, and it'll be a lot of prep for something that's happening so um, Hopefully that goes well and then if we can prep the first thing, then we can prep another thing, and then if we can prep the other thing, then we can start doing some stuff. So, DS3 Platinum speedruns? No. <laughs> no, no. Um, but, yeah, we'll be playing some DS1. I'll tell you that. We'll be playing some DS1. But, uh, anyways. I'm going to find someone we can raid. I think Ben Rice is still doing a 24-hour stream, and it is his birthday today. Uh, we were playing Among Us with him earlier. I think he's doing he's doing some fall guys to finish off his stream. Uh, he's at 19 hours and 50 minutes, so we, we're gonna surprise him. Uh, ben is really cool. I've known him for a while, and he was one of the people that uh, watched my stream without even having an account, just as a guest for years. And he apparently watched a couple other people we know too, um, and it inspired him to stream, and he started streaming. And he's done some pretty crazy things. He's also like a very competitive power lifter. He's going for an 800 and something pound deadlift and a 600 pound bench right now. Um, I think he's already made it for both of those. He's trying to like get to a thousand pound deadlift and probably beyond 600 pound bench. Uh, his squad is crazy too. Uh, he makes music on stream as well as does the fitness stuff and he plays some souls runs and a bunch of other stuff. So if you like that kind of stuff, I will see you guys there. If not, you gotta go cause it's his birthday anyways. I gotcha. And then I'll see you again tomorrow for some DS1 and we'll see what happens on there. But yeah. Let's uh, let's go. Thank you so much again for uh, the the stream and being awesome and enjoying all the the shenanigans. Let's go.